Hey folks, today Faster Z offset for better build plate and layer adhesion. This technique will get you smoother layers and a better top finish. And it'll work on any printer with access to the Z offset. So if you want to get better print quality, then hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. Today while sharing how to get your Z offset faster, I'm going to share with you how to interpret the quality of your Z offset setting. But before we do, have you calibrated your extruder? If you haven't calibrated your extruder yet, there's a link in the description and at the end of the video, how to do that. It's the easiest method I've seen. Before trying large prints like these, why not make sure that you've got the first layer right? It starts as simple as printing one of these brims and getting your Z offset dialed in. So look at the quality of some of these items. I mean, the wall is very smooth and flat. The same with the top layer. The top layers are spectacular on some of these. And look at this little bottle that I, that I printed. I mean, it is super smooth. The brim is even all the way around, very consistent, very smooth under my finger. I can rub my fingernail on it. It makes a little bit of noise, not as much as when you've got the Z offset set too close. So let's create a brim file the easy way. Open up Cura. Wipe your bed with alcohol. Make sure it's good and clean. No oils from your hands. Whatever your brand of printer, raise your Z offset up safely so you won't scratch the bed. I think you can see that the nozzle is really clear of the bed, so I'm going to start to dial down the Z offset. So now you can see it's starting to stick a little bit, and I use my fingernail to pull it away. It's really easy. So I'm dialing down. It's still very easy to remove with my fingernail, but you can see we're starting to gain some traction right there. Okay, so pulling the material away, being careful not to touch the bed with my fingertip because I'll transfer oils from my fingers to the bed. So just, oh, there we go. That's it. Okay, so I seem to be right on the money. So we'll let that print and I'll, then I will show you how to interpret the print. So the method that I promised you for being able to evaluate the quality of your Z offset. So on the far right here, we're too far away from the bed. So it's really easy to see that you got big gaps in between the filaments not joining each other. So, I mean, that's really, really easy to see. You're really far away from the bed. So, and I went with minus 0.42. The next one up, oh, it feels really smooth. I mean, it looked pretty good if you can't see through it, but the problem is, is that you can see through it. There's lots of holes in this, you know, so you're still too far away from the bed. And this is just giving you uh, a feeling for the dimensions that were used in order to be able to test this. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over here and I'm gonna go right to the next one here, which is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.72. So the thing is, yes, you can see through this thing, 
but it's really, really rough. Like if you drag your fingernail across it, you know, it's noisy, etc. And then going further, and I was just being cautious here because I'm getting awfully close to my bed. So it's really squishing it. It is rough, it's scratchy, and you can see through it, but very, very different from what you see over, over here. Part of the problem with these two was that they were very difficult to remove from the bed versus these other three were very easy. Now, I've got a black one up here just because this, I wanted to be able to show you that it's the same material for the outside ones, but right here is the gold standard. This is where the negative 0.62, it's very smooth all the way around. If I drag my fingernail on it, you don't hear any scratching like I'm a rapper trying to make a hit uh, song. It's, it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Not looking to waste your time, but this is very, very important. Why try to go for the big prints before you've got this down pat? It takes 10 minutes to do each one of these. And the thing is, is that it's practice. You get familiar with it. You're gonna start to recognize when the nozzle is too close or too far. Using the paper method, I don't care for it at all. And the reason why I don't is because how clean is your nozzle when you're doing it? It doesn't show you the results. This takes 10 minutes, but you get to see the results and you dial this in before you start going for larger prints, etc. You know, so these bottles, the layer lines are basically invisible. The brims are fantastic on them. They're even all the way around. Normally, I wouldn't put brims on these little bottles, but I wanted to do it to prove a point and to show you the kind of quality that you can expect. If you have any questions or concerns or you need a hand, just let me know. I'll gladly help you if I can. Thanks for watching. Happy printing.